Hey everyone, Daniel from bloghoarder.com here, and uh, we're going to do a tutorial of basic character movement. So let's get into it. Okay, here we are at flowlab.io. I'm going to choose a new project. Name the, your game. Tutorial. I'm just going to adjust the screen size. Okay, let's get into it. First thing you're going to do is create actually some ground to walk on because your character is about to walk. All right, just let me catch up to you for a second. I'm sure you already got ground. If you don't, this is new ground to cover. Okay, let's get a character, shall we? Um, okay, so at this stage, are you importing your own character? Or did you find one, a good one, uh, that you source from an assets uh, site? Or do you want to just use a flowlab.io character? That's what we'll do for this tutorial. But just a quick side note, if you want some cool game assets for free, uh, for commercial use, if you're going to sell your game or whatever you want, uh, go to Kenny.nl. It's really neat. There's a lot of free game assets. There's a lot of sites out there, um, but this one's license is straightforward. Just use whatever you want for free for your game, and uh, there's stuff to buy if you want to buy that you can donate, or you can just be a cheapskate like me and uh, just credit them. I credit them in the games after I, I make them. Uh, okay, let's that was just a quick side note. We'll get out of there back here to our characters We're gonna just use a flow lab character. So I'm gonna browse uh, Characters get this red nose goober. Here we go uh, We need to give him an animation though for when he's walking can't just have him His legs not moving and move across the screen that look weird so click this animation create new and we'll call this one walking and then what you're gonna do is you see these frames up top you're gonna add a frame and uh, well before you add a frame we're just gonna upload his we're not gonna upload anything we're gonna browse and there he is walking right there so this is the first frame of the walk animation then we're just gonna add a second one and then use that other picture of him with his other leg forward just hit play to watch it. Okay, that looks good. Quickly make his physics. He's going to enable collision for later on. Solid, movable, affected by gravity. And now we're going to go into his behaviors. All right, let's get into it. Some basic character movement. This one will be for a platformer. So I'm going to make this key, just click on that, hit the key left, whichever one you're going to make them go for left, uh, we'll go repeating. Next key will be for going right, hit repeating. Uh, this will be for jumping, and that'll be up. Okay, so let's get into it. We need one more thing here, we need a collision actually. We need quite a few more things. <laughs> But first thing for over this row is a collision and then this is just for the infinite jump because when we create the movement and the jump it's just gonna make your character jump infinitely like a double jump that never stops so we gotta nip that in the bud right off the start and uh, get rid of that double jump this is the this is the right way here so we'll save you some time if I just stop rambling so take everything off except the bottom okay the next thing we're going to need is our animation again and where the heck are animations in the properties so what's going to trigger the animation for walking well when I put the left down is going to start it when I let go of it is going to stop it and same with the right when I put it down I'm going to start the animation and when I let go of it I'm going to stop the animation 
Okay, now we gotta get into the actual movement. We do that with the numbers as well as an impulse. Okay, so here we go. Let's just do some, just a small little movement. He's not gonna be going too fast. And this number will be for his jump. We're going to put it to a positive, like, up there with a 15 or something. So down on the left keyboard, gets a minus 6. Down on the right, gets a positive 6. Whoop. And then, oh, we need a switch. Bring this below the jump. And now we're going to do a wacky crazy eight here. So this will go off. Yes. And this will go to get. And then the collision will turn the switch on. And pushing down on up is what you're pushing through. Okay. And then this goes to the impulse Y. That gets rid of the double jump. Okay, what else we need is a velocity. And I can never remember where these things are. There they are. So we're gonna put this to the X. And now we're gonna play it. Oh, he's not flipping, we forgot to flip. But there's no double jump now. If we didn't program that switch in, if you just hit up, he would just go right off your screen. Okay, we just got to put a flip in, that's it. So let's just go back into our character. And add a flip. Once again, <laughs> where the heck? Components maybe? I don't know, I'm pretty new to Flow Lab to be honest. Week 3 right now. I should know where flip is. <laughs> oh well. Okay, when um, left is down, what triggers the flip? When left is down, will trigger the flip, and then when right is down, it will bring it back. Okay. See that in action. Or do I to mess that up? Nope. That's ready. Okay, so there you go. There's basic movement for your, a platform game in FlowLab.io. Let's take a look at this so you can take a screenshot if you need one. So there you go. Um, keyboard, left, right, and up. Inside the keyboard left, we had repeating. Inside the right, we had repeating. Inside the up, we didn't. And then we had a collision with anything, and then only bottom highlighted. So now, and then the animation was into the left and right. Uh, down starts the animation, up stops it. Here's your number, change your numbers if you want them to go faster, faster or slower. And there's your jump. Here's this little figure eight to make sure that switch jumps so he doesn't do the infinite jump. This is really important, this part here. So just take a screenshot or pause me. You might have muted me by now. <laughs> That's all right. But just uh, get the info. Here you go. Here's the basic uh, movement for a platformer game. Part one of movement. Have a good night.